So my name is Steve Grencher, I'm the Head of Heritage and Archives at Wrexham Council, so I work mainly at Wrexham Museum. I've been there for about 20 years, over 20 years now. But before that I worked at uh, the Clued County Council as the Deputy County Archaeologist, and I've worked extensively throughout Wales excavating sites, particularly in North East Wales. It's Roman Amphora. Uh, amphoras were endemic throughout the empire and they're used to transport usually liquids around the empire, sometimes dry goods. This particular vessel, uh, because of its shape, uh, we know probably would have transported wine. Um, so that, that's, that, that, that's what it's usually for. But it can be fish sauce, it can say, it'd be dry goods as well. In this particular vessel, because again, because of its shape, we can date it reasonably accurately um, to sometime between the reign of the Emperor Augustus and the Emperor, reign of the Emperor Hadrian. So we're talking, you know, it spans the first century AD. I think, right? So it's about, about 2,000 years old. was found, rediscovered, if you like, in Rose-on-Sea, in Horton Hort in Hort Drive. Um, we would had a, a letter from a, a neighbour um, saying that they thought if their friend had an interesting object in the garden. So we, we set off from Shy Holly Mould and we, we visited Horton Drive. And as we drove into the street, you could see the amphora clearly displayed in the garden. Because I knew exactly what it was immediately. Apparently it, it had been originally found when the bungalow was built in the 1960s. Um, it was found vertically in the ground with the rim showing. Uh, we got this from anecdotally from the owner of the bungalow. It wasn't the owner at the time it was found. Um, and, when, and then when they, they came to the house about 1977, they stuck it in the garden in front of the hydrangea and there it sat. So it was full of uh, domestic garden rubbish, which the, 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 the man of the house had dumped into the, into the throat. And it had it occasionally been dinged by him when he was doing weeding in the garden. It's one of, it's either is the, or it's one of the very few complete amphoras ever found in Wales. Um, but it's, it's the, the, I suppose the thing is, what, what was it doing in Rose on Sea? And of course, and, until the old time machine is invented, we're never going to know for certain. But my, the fact that it was buried some distance below the ground, and the fact that it was vertical in the ground, suggests to me that it, it either contained a, a burial, like a cremation burial, and it was just washed out of the pot without anybody knowing exactly what it was, or it might have been a coin hoard inside, and for whatever reason that coin hoard has been lost. Uh, there, there are a number of coin holds in on the coast of North, East, North Wales. Um, there was a lot of Irish sea raiding going on towards the end of the Roman period. In fact, there was a detachment of the fleet that was based in Hollyhead to patrol the, the North Wales coast. And it may well be that people were burying money because of that danger, and then for whatever reason, either because they forgot where they buried it, or because they'd been killed in the raid, haven't been able to retrieve the money. So if I was to, to guess on what it was likely to have been doing there, I guess it's probably a coin hold, and for whatever reason, the hold itself has been lost. You can get sort of flat bottom or globular ones. You, you, there's quite a variety of different shapes for amphora. The Romans had a situation where, where they looked at the shape and they knew what was in the, the jar. So in this particular case, it's a very cylindrical, shape, it's quite high, it's almost about three, just over three foot long. It would originally have had a, a point on the base, a solid plate point on the base, but that's been, that's been lost in antiquity. And it's designed so it can be easily poured from, and it's designed it can be stored in some numbers in the holds of ships. So that's why it's a cylindrical shape. You, you see them in Pompeii, for example, or Herculaneum in, in, in Campania, uh, and they're usually sort of leaning up against the corner of a room, or they're in some sort of um, wooden framework to keep them upright. There's a certain amount, and I've mentioned the coin hoards already that you get on the North Wales coast. We, we are at the moment here, we're in between two Roman forts, so there's the Roman fort at Canovian or Caedin, and the Roman fort here, and there was thought of in the Roman fort somewhere in St. Asaph. That most of the sites in this area tend to be hoard sites or, or, or lone burials or stray finds. Um, but we, you know, we don't know a great deal about the Roman period yet, even. So I'm sure there are more sites to be discovered.